Hi guys, welcome back. So today we've got a very exciting video. Love was really thrilled when somebody asked us to review this. Uh, it is the Bagot, Bagota uh, robot vacuum cleaner. Uh, we've actually, as a family, we've been thinking about getting a robot vacuum cleaner for quite some time, uh, but never really got around to it. So the fact that this has been sent to us is uh, very good news. So let's get it out of the box, see what's inside. It's a big box, it's quite heavy. Uh, we've got the, I think, I guess like a piece of protective cardboard. Um, power supply for the machine. Uh, oh yeah, this must be the mop adapter. So it's uh, a robot vacuum cleaner and a robot mop as well. So you can use this um, mop adapter. It's got a reservoir there for holding water, by the look of it. Uh, this is the charging place, dock, I guess you call it. So you put that on the floor and the, the robot will connect in there to charge. Very nice. Uh, what else have we got here? Some sticky tape. Ah, I know what that's for. Uh, filters, spare filter, I guess. Um, instruction manual, spare mop. Yeah, it's the same as the other one, so you get two in the in the box, which is pretty cool. And so that's the uh, the machine, the vacuum cleaner itself. Uh, let's have a look at some some of these other bits before we have a look at that. So we've got uh, brushes, spinning brushes, I guess that you need to fit on the machine. Um, I don't know how many it uses or whether these are spare, but there are there are four in here, so that's that's quite a few. Also got this. Uh, I think I know what this is for cleaning the the brush heads. So, like if you get hairs stuck in the roller, you can cut them off using this. Um, so used for maintaining the machine. Oh yeah, these are uh, uh, barrier strips. So stops the, the machine from going in places that you don't want it to go. Uh, uh, yeah, it's like a magnet. So <clears throat> that's, I guess what these uh, 3M strips are for, is to stick that to the floor in uh, a place where you don't want it to go. So that's, uh, I think that's everything from the box. So here it is. Uh, it's got a couple of buttons on the top, home and I'm not sure what that one's for yet, but I'll, I'll find out. That one's the power button, and on the back here we've got a uh, brush head, which oh, I, I can see you can get that brush head out for cleaning it, and here. Uh, just like, you know, lots of vacuum cleaners have that feature, very handy. Um, oh, here is a physical power switch, useful. Um, I guess the batteries are in here, but uh, they're already inside, so I don't need to do anything there. These are the little wheels that it drives around on. You can see there's quite a lot of travel in those wheels, so it should be able to go over uh, at least small obstacles. And then in the front, it's got this uh, caster wheel for spinning around. These are the electrodes where it connects for charging. Oh, yeah, okay, so I can see the, uh, the brush that I was wondering about. Um, it fits on here. Uh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, very cool. Okay, and what else have we got here? I think that's it. Um, oh, this is the uh, the dustbin. So you can. Uh, that's where all of the the things that it suck. Uh, go into. So pretty easy for taking it to the bin, just pull that out. So I can see it's got some um, little bits and pieces in here for transit, so I'll take those out and uh, we'll get it set up.
So I've got the machine set up and I've added it on the app and I told it to just start in this area. And look at the difference. Uh, I mean, we're not like total clean freaks. I did hoover in here yesterday, but we, when you've got kids, you know, they, they make a horrible mess. But this is the area that it's done. As you can see, it's it's pretty clean. And this is the area that it hasn't done yet. And it's not so clean. It's uh, it's pretty effective. So the real test of the effectiveness of uh, this machine is going to be this room. This is the kitchen. Uh, it's, I mean, the kids eat in here and um, they throw stuff on the floor. Good news is it's uh, floorboards and tiles in here. They're pretty old floorboards and um, they need sanding, which I need to get to at some point. But uh, I think it's going to be really helpful to have the, the machine have a go on this floor. So let's have a look at how I've got it set up. All right, so this is the floor, as you can see. And this is the machine here in the charging dock. Uh, so my plan is to let it loose and see what it does. So we can control the machine with the app, of course. So I just need to press play like this. And away it goes. So I've cleared the floor for it. Uh, I hope it's not too loud on the video. Um, it is a little bit loud, but it is a vacuum cleaner, so you expect it to be loud. It's got three different sucking modes, and I've got it on the highest setting one, on account of the house being very dirty. So uh, if you wanted it quieter, you could set it to a lower setting. Uh, but it seems to be doing a really good job. It's cleaning in all of the corners, uh, sucking everything. I think after the floor has been sucked, then uh, maybe I'll have it mopped. This is kind of embarrassing, but this is all of the stuff it's picked up so far, which is uh, quite a lot of stuff. Clearly, we need this machine in our lives. Uh, it's it's already being very, very useful indeed. So what's happened here, though, because it's got out of the kitchen and is going into the rest of the house, uh, which is fine. I want the rest of the house to be clean, but I don't want it to be clean tonight. So I think what I'm going to do is put the machine back where it ought to be, tell it to go home, and I'll install the... Uh, barrier strip so that it can't get out of this room. All right, so this carpet is dirty. It's got crumbs on it and things, bits of paper, stuff like that. So let's see how the robot gets on with this. So it's finished sucking and uh, one thing is clear is that we need to get the carpet cleaner out because someone's been drawing on the carpet with pens. But overall it's, uh, it's pretty clean. It's, um, I mean I didn't do anything, I just told the machine to go. So here's all of the stuff that it sucked from this room. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah. So this is the mop module. Uh, you fill this part with water. Uh, I put a bit of soap in there as well. And this is the, the mop cloth attached to it. And then you, you just kind of slide it into the machine and it's good to go. So I hope you enjoyed that review of the Bagot Robot Vacuum Cleaner. Uh, I think it's, it's a pretty good piece of kit. It seems to be working well and uh, it's going to be a welcome addition in our home. Uh, this is one of the more fun reviews to do. Uh, so stay tuned, subscribe, like and all that stuff, and uh, maybe if we get something else interesting in the future, you'll see that too. Thanks very much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.